and on the move again after looking at the map I'm going on the correct the correction correction direction <laughs> ah. I have to go straight more and more by the way no clue what the farm uh, was doing there but probably could hear it and probably can hear it now in the farmhouse is very very loud techno music and I can see it's maybe a farmhouse with animals probably the chickens like it I most certainly don't and then somehow you live at a very spacious area you still to manage to put your music that loud that it's audible hundreds of meters away by the way we got in part three that's the time to stop another time and probably stop and stop from more other hand this will be a quick ride I think like I said leaning my back goes everything goes at the moment everything goes to plan <laughs> my bike is a single speed bike one cogwheel in the back one goggle in the front and that's it and I'm actually would have another gear now to shift to heavier gear because like I said earlier in the other part of this video I think it's part one my cadence is too high cadence that's the revolutions a minute my pedals are making I should maybe slow down a bit I don't know we'll have to see I'm turning into a little wind now straight went from the back straight 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 from six o'clock the white windmill at one o'clock that's actually at the Rijksweg and the cars there and especially I don't know if you can see it but especially the DHL truck there the yellow one that's on the Rijksweg the N360 dog, dog owner doggy walking and owner trying to keep the dog close to her but doggy doesn't know doggy just want doggy just want to go Just saw a swan into the side of the water. Did not look to have a head, but it did have his head underwater looking for food. Or her head, I could be mistaken. Could be the girly swan. Nobody can recognize them. Girly swans do have a pink ribbon on their head, and boy swans do have a blue ribbon on their head. Well, the head was not visible, so I don't know. No, just joking. Male and female swans, or goose, are white, I think. At least the one we have in Holland, or the Netherlands. let's see I think I do have to go to the right now otherwise I will be lost in the countryside no I don't want to go there let's go here Ooh. traffic from the other direction more traffic but it's wide enough to go so no problemo
zucht er knap uit, zegt die man in de auto. Het ziet er netjes uit, zei de man in de auto. Het does look good, zei de man in de car. The first part was Gronings. Zucht er knap uit, mijn jong. Met andere woorden, het ziet er netjes uit. With other words, it looks very nice. That's the part when you live in a province where there's dialect spoken. Like in Groningen, they speak Gronings and Dutch. Depends where you are. People can understand you, but are, uh, most people who live in Groningen are able to understand Gronings, the language. But when you're from a different part of the Netherlands, it's quite hard to understand some native native people speaking Gronings. Luckily, I do understand Gronings. I was not raised in Gronings, but. My parents always talk Dutch to me until the point I did something like I broke something or made something dirty. Then my parents opted to speak in Gronings to me, and then I knew I did make a did make a little mistake or a big mistake sometimes. Sometimes my parents, they talked with each other from Gronings and also to my grandparents they were talking Gronings. This is of course fine, but I can speak Dutch, well very well, it's not a good word, but I really can manage. I have some difficulties with the D's and the T's and sentences. It's the spelling part and it's quite difficult in Dutch. There are rules but when you don't know the rules correctly or think you know them, you make mistakes. Can you imagine how hard it is for people from outside the Netherlands learning Dutch? For instance, the word, word doctor It's normally a house doctor, a house doctor, so... But we also say, not only doctor, but huisarts. And an arts, they say it's the same person, calling it two names. And really the strange part is, there is also an arts, that someone who works in the hospital. And also a doctor can work in a hospital. Do you still understand? Well, if you lost me, I can understand why. By the way, yesterday I was watching a YouTuber called Action Kid actually a resident in the city of New York in the USA. He's from Astoria, part of the city of New York. It's above Brooklyn. Well, he was exploring the city. And as you probably know, New York used to be a Dutch settlement called New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam in the 16 or so 1600s or something. It's a while back. We lost the, the, now the you know, New York City to the British. We were able to sustain our colony of Suriname in, in South America, it is. But what I was trying to tell you, what I was going for, uh, for to, to inform you, there are still some Dutch influences in New York like Brooklyn, which is actually named after Breukelen and CK. And there's also, well, Har uh, no, Harlem, Harlem, a city near Amsterdam in the Netherlands. 
So, done it wrong again, I have to turn. Let's stop and turn around. Let's see and go. You can see the windmill going. <laughs> 